Imagine a poultry farm where thousands of chickens sit on piles of their own excrement. Unable to escape their miserable cage, these chickens suffer from ammonia burns and struggle to grow feathers. Ants and maggots crawl over the bodies of those that have not made it to slaughter. The chicken you are eating probably lived a miserable life. Humans eat so many chickens that 23 billion of the 30 billion living land animals on earth are chickens. In South Korea alone, there are more fried chicken places than the number of McDonald's in the rest of the world. That's over 37,000 places. This cannot just happen because humans just love eating chicken. Chicken is a major trading commodity that is traded globally in billions. For example, the fact that different countries specialize in different kinds of production boost trade. America and Brazil, the world's two biggest chicken exporters, are agricultural powerhouses that grow huge amounts of feed, the main cost in poultry production. Thailand and China, in contrast, dominate the processed meat market, which requires cheap, skilled labor. Russia and Ukraine, once net importers of chicken, have become net exporters as their grain industries have grown. This is precisely why chicken is always at the very center of free trade negotiations. Of course, we have to be careful. Concerns about the health of livestock have also led the EU to pass some of the world's strictest animal welfare laws. Battery cages for egg-laying hens were banned in 2012, for instance. So, chicken is good, both for the economy and for our taste buds. This is Chickenomics, and its future lies in healthy, happy chickens.